up guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lizzie Capri and today I have some really exciting news to share with you guys. I have agreed to participate in a crazy YouTube experiment. I have no idea when and I have no idea how it's gonna happen. I'm so nervous. I'm like already looking over my shoulder. At some point in the next week, they're gonna jump out and surprise me. Lizzie, you oh have gosh. been ambushed. No! Today we'll be throwing the biggest dinner party ever for animals in this restaurant. Are you kidding me right now? Get ready, cause this is Ambushed. Yeah. Actually, yes, I do. Uh, do you want food or smoothies? Everything is vegan, then. This is so right at home. This place. It's cute. It's like a random gem thing down here. Oh my gosh. Why did everybody just leave? This is so crazy. The entire restaurant just left. Except out of the corner of my eye, I look over and I see Brad Mondo, the hair guy. I'm like, what is he doing here? Hello, beautiful. I'm Brad Mondo and I'm being ambushed. At the end of Lizzie's video, check out my channel to see my very own ambush journey. <laughs> Lizzie, Brad, I'm Chef Nick DiGiovanni and you have been ambushed. I'm just sitting there. And bam, walks in Nick DiGiovanni, the chef. And that right there is it. This is one of those foods in life that is well worth it. And weird vibes coming in today. <laughs> uh, Layla and Denise, you are free to go. They are in good hands, I promise. Don't be scared. Oh my gosh, I'm like nervous. <laughs> but what is up, guys? I got ambushed. I had no idea what was going on. They created this entire set. It was a restaurant set. They hired like actors to be eating. Look at this food. It's fake. How are you guys feeling? Nervous. Was that not crazy? <laughs> yeah, that was weird. I was like, should we leave? <laughs> like, is there like... This is not your regular collab. This is a competition. Oh. Great. Okay. I'm very competitive. You better watch out. I am going to be putting you through a culinary boot camp. Ooh. I'm not good at cooking, so <laughs> I can't even say anything. Are you yeah. good at cooking? Yes. Brad is like a hairstylist, so he probably knows absolutely nothing about food. Unfortunately, though, the loser is going to have a punishment. Ooh. I'm scared. As you guys know, I don't cook. So I have no idea what to expect. Do we get chef outfits? Got a couple <laughs> aprons for you, but you got to earn the coat. Oh, OK. You ready for the kitchen? I'm ready. Let's, Let's go. do it. Let's okay. go. Follow me Woo. in. Take a look at what's under the domes right in front of you. <gasps> Today, I'm gonna be teaching you how to make pesto pancakes. We are gonna be making it uh -oh. for this little guy right here. Oh my gosh, I thought it was Wait, a tarantula it? at first. <laughs> this is my hamster pesto. Oh my pesto. gosh, yeah. hi pesto. As you probably already noticed, we can go in here, light the stove, put a single drop or two of oil in the pan. We're gonna take our pancake batter with our dropper. The secret is go right up over the top and just drop right in the center. Whoa. And now we wait. I'm just gonna come over and very, very carefully Flip. Oh. Boom. I don't even know how to cook for myself. How am I going to be able to make something good enough for this hamster? Meat pesto. Can I hold Absolutely. Hi. You got to know who you're cooking for. Oh. This is important. Hi, Mr. Pesto. He's very friendly. Pesto is the cutest little hamster in the world. He's like this big. You ready? I'm ready. Mix the batter. How do I mix the batter? Oops. What are you doing over here? <laughs> yeah. My batter looks fantastic. Dropper. Beautiful. Uh, no, that was perfect. Do I have extra? Do you want some? Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh. <laughs> I need more heat. Burn. So I'm just going directly to the oh. source. Burn. I think it no, looks that was good. Perfect. Some may say it's burnt, but oh my. I say it's There's been a little bit of sabotage already. Crispy. Pesto is gonna love it. Only culinary geniuses like myself would know about this. It is my secret. 
I'm gonna have you put down each of your pancakes and whichever one pesto eats first or eats the most of wins. Are we okay. ready? Ready, go. Come here, come here. Oh, oh come look how cute you yes, are. Yes, come yes, here, yes. this way. This oh, way, pesto, oh, pesto. Oh, wait, there he goes. No, there he goes. no, there he goes. no. 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 He likes Lizzie's burnt pancakes. Lizzie, that's cheating. It looks like Lizzie is the winner. Yay! I won, I won. I'm so happy I won this first challenge. Brad, I'm coming for you. Pasta! Me and Pasta are gonna be best friends. It's time for something big. You remember earlier how everyone got up and just randomly suddenly left the restaurant? Well, now it is a full house out there and you guys have to make dinner for them. How many Hello. people? Hello? Oh! Welcome oh to your guests. Is that a giraffe? Wait, 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 wait. Are these real? Is that a camel? Are you kidding me right now? Oh my gosh. It's a room full of farm animals. There is a zebra, a giraffe, a unicorn, a llama, an alpaca. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys, he's so cute. Okay, the coolest animal in here, though, is this huge camel. I don't think you understand how big this thing is, guys. Oh my god, it's so big. You guys have both heard of the term farm to table. Yes. Today we're doing table to farm. That's the giraffe. Don't mind the giraffe. Today we'll be throwing the biggest dinner party ever for animals in this restaurant. Actually, I should rephrase, you'll be throwing the biggest dinner party ever. Let's go! I'm ready for I'm this. So ready? Excited. Let's go. Oh, I'm so glad it's not people. <laughs> We're grabbing the big boy tools now. You trust Lizzie with this? First up, it's a sushi dinner date between a llama and an alpaca. We gotta get sushi for these guys. We are also at the same time gonna be having to work on apple crumble for the cow. I don't even cook this well for myself. All right, so we're gonna grab out our nori. When you make sushi, we gotta cut it a little bit first, so I will help you out with that. We're, are you eating that right now? No. Like, <laughs> come on. We're gonna cut that down. That is what you're gonna roll your... Are you eating again? No more eating. What are you doing? That's for the uh, animal. I eat sushi all the time. Have I ever made it? No. Brad, how's the crumble going? It's probably burning, but What do you I... mean it's burning? Get it out of the oven now. I don't know. Take the towel. I Take don't the know. towel. How are you gonna touch? Come on, come on, come on. Hey, you gotta go fast. Go. Ready to roll? Come over with your fingers and kind of press and curl in. Open it up carefully. So that's the start of the roll, and we can kind of just oh, finish it. Beautiful. And now with the knife, we have to go all the way through, okay? Just like that. And that looks like really nice sushi. I don't like it, it looks disgusting. <laughs> okay, so on today's menu, we have vegetable sushi garnished with some super rare flowers that are edible. Are you eating again? Yep. Oh my god. This is exciting, huh? This is gonna be the perfect date, you guys. I'm so excited to feed the alpaca and the llama. They are on a cute little date. So this sushi is gonna be perfect. I hope they like it. There you go, Miss. Lizzie, let's, let's drop it at the ow. same time. Three, two, one, drop. Look at this. Yes. He just demolished the sushi. Oh I put the sushi down and the alpaca immediately started eating my food. Oh my gosh. I've never seen a llama eat a sushi. I'm so happy the alpaca liked its sushi. We did it! It's a successful date. You got this. Eat it. I made it with love. Oh, he liked that. Okay. Well, we're going to town now. Move, move. Uh, you're in Guys, my come way. On, let's go. She's in my way. Uh, uh, she Brad, you're cooking for the unicorn. Fancy fruit salad. Unicorn, got it. It's for you, Lizzie. You gotta make the zoodles for the donkey. Oh, I love these things. Yes. It's called the spiralizer. Why do I do this? Yeah. Why is this so hard? Oh man. Yes, it's working. This is so satisfying. I am on a roll right now. I think the donkey's gonna love it. Looks like hair. I want to give the unicorn options. You want to give it options? You know, in the hair world, we like to give the clients options. Well, like, why are you asking me? Go ask the customer. Look, this is the best one. Hey, you playing with the food again? Well, at least I didn't need it this time. How are we today? Oh, I love your hair, by the way. I love your bangs. Look at what Brad made over here. It looks so good, I'm not gonna lie. I am extremely competitive. I will do anything it takes to win. Anything. <laughs> What if I just, uh, there we go. Wow, okay. Well, we had to wipe off the plate. Lizzie, yeah, but we gotta go fast. She's gonna be redoing dishes. I'll tell him you did that. No, I will get your waiter out for you. Okay, goodbye, Uni, the unicorn. See you later. 
Are you touching my salad? I'm helping you. Right. No, 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 no. Wait, we need apples for this? You... It was ruined, and I had to fix it. Was he dumped your plate? And up? he was like, oh, dump the plate, because I got to oh. wipe the plate. Okay. Okay. I'm not kidding. You All guys right. can roll tape back. Oh. What if I just, uh, there we go. No, Lizzie, Lizzie, come on, you gotta go. After I sabotaged Brad, Nick made me redo his whole dish, so I think it backfired on me. All right, ready? You are on the pig, you're making a veggie tostada and oat pancakes for the camel. They literally eat anything, so it doesn't really matter what I put in this tostada. This one's definitely gonna be easy to win. Lizzie, Lizzie, ah! you're burning the pancakes again. <gasps> oh no, 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 that's done. I can already tell you it's burned. Look. No, 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 it's, it's not. Burned. Hold no, it no, over, no, no, watch. Okay. Oh, it's stuck. Some may say it's burnt, but I say it's culinary crisp. Only culinary geniuses like myself would know about this. Guys, I'm a professional chef! Gotta add some crunch. There you go. The chicken is eating the dish. So good, isn't it? Denied. I don't think he likes the meatballs, but maybe he'll like the zoodles. Donkey is upset oh. about this. He won't touch a thing. Fine. Go. Oh my gosh. There you go. Hi, Mr. Camel. Oh. Ah! Come here, look. This camel isn't eating my food. What is going on? Oh. Oh, yeah, me. oh. it's peeing. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's oh. peeing. It's peeing. Oh! <laughs> I don't think he could smell it. Sorry, he doesn't like your pancakes. Okay, everyone knows you can't pee and eat at the same time. Final round. We are getting down to the last dish, and I think Brad and I are neck and neck. But let's not forget, I did win the first challenge. So I think I'm ahead by a hair. Who's handling the giraffe? I'll do it. That's, yeah. You got this? You can do it, Lizzie. All right, that means you're giving this charred carrot salad to the zebra. Probably one of the most technical dishes we're doing yet today in the kitchen. Yeah. In order for me to win this challenge, I have to nail this dish. Otherwise, Brad is going to beat me. And he is not even good at cooking. Uh, excuse me? Here's an apple. Cutting slowly to get these nice, clean cuts. And like butterfly the apple out, and it'll look nice on top. Can you do this? Uh, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Why is it so effortless when Nick does it? And when I do it, it looks like garbage. Oh, okay. Same way I do with the apples, I'm gonna butterfly the banana. It's all about precision. Okay. I think I could start my own restaurant after today. I made my dish so beautifully and plated everything exactly how Nick would have wanted me to. Good. Look how pretty that is. I need this giraffe to just eat anything off my dish. Here we go, mister. I hope you like it. I'm really nervous. I gotta make sure this giraffe eats my last dish. Come on, Mr. Giraffe. Here, you got this. Yes, yes. Oh, I think he likes me. Whoa, okay. At first, Jeffrey the giraffe seems very interested. Yes, no. But he is not biting any of the food. This is really important you eat this because I'm trying to beat Brad. Brad is next to me trying to feed his zebra. Want a carrot? Come on. And I'm over here trying to feed this giraffe. Neither of them are eating. Are you kidding me? He's going to eat that and not eat my lettuce? Giraffe! This giraffe needs to eat my dish. Come on, just eat it. No, not the fork. The salad. I'm doomed. This is just a horse race at this point. Oh my gosh, he's eating. <gasps> I think he liked it. That was a sign of approval. He is finally eating my apples. Yeah, I think I'm gonna win. Is it? Yeah. There you go, Brad. Isn't it good? This is gonna be a very tough decision for me, but before we get to that, I've got a little something for you. Yes. Please try on your chef oh coats. My gosh. Oh my God, you have both so earned them. Yeah. We did it. You look so official. <laughs> I know. Brad, you lost the first challenge, the mini pancakes. Lizzie, on the other hand, you did win the mini pancake challenge for Pesto. Yeah. He loved yours, even though it was a slight bit charred. It worked. Unfortunately, Brad, the sheep didn't touch the veggie burger. Yeah not even looked at or touched. 
It hurts. It hurts me. Overall, though, it's a great job today. Thank you. Lizzie? I'm scared of what he's going to say about me. <laughs> I thought you worked really, really hard in the kitchen. But there were not one but two dishes that animals didn't eat that you brought out. Donkey is upset about this. He won't touch a thing. And the oat pancakes oh for the my camel. God. Ah! It's OK, Lizzie. You won that first challenge. Yeah! But at the same time, you had more dishes sent back than Brad. It's true. So overall, I feel like it's pretty tied in my mind at the end of the day. But there is one deciding factor. OK. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. For one of you, there were more plates that I had to stop before they went into the kitchen and remake. And that person is Lizzie. No! Brad, that means you're the winner. Yeah! Not only did you get the chef coat, what? but you got the hat. This is not fair! Don't I be jealous. I am so embarrassed. I got something for you, too. Oh. It's a hairnet. Oh. I'm going to need to put this on. You are going to need this for your punishment. Wow, Lizzie. Lizzie it's pretty ugly. <laughs> Lizzie, you're coming with me. Oh, man. i got to hang out with Nick more. Lizzie, unfortunately, you are on pots and pans duty, and there are a lot of dishes that have to be washed. Oh. Good luck. Thanks. Tammy, I won. Thanks to you not eating the food that was presented to you by Lizzie. Oh. Guys, I can't believe I lost and have to wash the dishes, but I actually had a really fun day, and I learned so much from Nick. Lizzie, are you oh. eating right now? Lizzie, no eating. The animals are the ones eating. No, no, no. There's no time for that. And now, next time I cook, I have all these new tips and tricks I can learn. Props to Brad for beating me today. Good job. And I guess I got to wash the rest of these dishes. To see Brad bask in the glory of his win and the rest of his ambush journey, head on over to his channel. All right, guys, I got to finish these dishes. I'll get you next time, Brad.